Ugh. I mean, that smells properly bad. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna finally address the E30 in the background. Uh, if you saw in our last video, we were playing with the E36. Doesn't seem that um, most people like the E36 too much, which is understood because this is mostly an E30 channel. Uh, but I'm waiting on some parts for the trans, I'm gonna do like a whole trans service on it. And then this will probably be my new daily driver. Um, but back to the E30, you know, we keep talking about, oh, we're gonna supercharge it, we're gonna supercharge it. And we did get a supercharger, but the car is still just kind of sitting. And there is a reason for that. So after kind of the meltdown we had where we didn't actually cook the engine, but it was pretty bad. Um, we did blow the heater core. And so a lot of the coolant leaked out into the car and it just kind of filled the carpets. Um, so kind of the first thing we need to do is gut the interior and uh, fix that problem. So the real reason why we're waiting for the supercharger is there's just so many like underlying, just like little issues with the car that I want to sort out before we go and strap a big ass supercharger to it and like double the horsepower. Uh, you know, I want to have the car working like perfectly good working order, get it nice and reliable, fix some little issues that I've wanted to fix for a long time. So there's two main issues. Issue one, the carpet needs to come out to get the coolant out of it because it's filled with coolant. Issue two is the sunroof. Um, I want the car to just be a full slip top, so we're gonna do a proper sunroof delete. We're gonna cut out the cassette and all the tracks inside, which will give me more headroom for a roll cage. And then we're also going to weld this panel in, fill it, sand it, and then delete it like it was never there. So until we can do that, I don't wanna put the supercharger on yet. So that's kind of what we're gonna address today. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and just gut the interior because we're gonna be doing a lot of cutting around the sunroof anyways. I don't want a bunch of like little pieces of metal going in my seats and carpet anyways. I, I think I might try to find a new carpet because this one's been through a lot. This is actually the second time it's been flooded with coolant and uh, it's dyed and the dye is wearing off. So I'd rather get like a proper black one, which I think you can still get new from the dealer. Um, so we're gonna start with that. First things first, gotta take the seats out. Not the lightest seats, but I wouldn't say they're uh, absurdly heavy either. I don't know where this goes. So we also do have some water damage from the sunroof itself uh, leaking because it's been just kind of taped in there. So yeah, these carpets are probably done for. Ugh. These seriously are like the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in in a car. I get asked a lot about these seats and I rode uh, in these seats all the way from North Carolina to California. All, I mean, thousands of miles in them. Never, like, my back didn't hurt one time. These are awesome seats. Recaro's, way to go. Making pretty good progress so far. Um, next few pieces to come out. I've got our center console stuff. Back seat. I'm trying to get as much out as I can. Well, because one, to get the carpet out, most everything has to come out anyways. Um, but once I start cutting all the metal up here, I don't want all that falling into uh, the good parts of the car. So I'm gonna strip as much as I can. You know, the plus side is I've been looking for a new like office chair for my computer and these are pretty dang comfy. So I could put them on like a bracket somehow. I mean, obviously they have to go back in the car, but it would be a nice temporary solution. I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see it, but I'm actually gonna gain a pretty significant amount of headroom by removing the sunroof because you can see, so the sunroof obviously sits up in its spot there, but then when the sunroof retracts down in the roof, that's what this whole piece is. They call it a cassette. I mean, it kind of slides in there like a cassette tape. And so you can see that gap. So all of this uh, is gonna be cut out at the spot weld. This whole piece will come out and then it'll give us just roof line and nothing else in there. None of, none of this other crap here. So we're gonna cut all of that out and then weld in our sunroof. And that's gonna be like a proper sunroof delete. I mean, some people just take like a piece of steel and just like rivet it in the roof, but that kind of looks ugly. I want it to look nice. So we're gonna do that. See, the interior comes apart pretty easy. Center console's out. This is my favorite piece, my uh, AKG shifter. Very race car. I think it's time for a rebuild. It's got a little bit of play in it, but love it. That's probably one of my favorite parts about it. Go ahead and pop this out. That's in our way, back seat and then carpet. Ugh. 
Now I can strap myself in when I'm sitting uh, at my desk, in my new desk chair. All right, I think it's finally time for the carpet to come out. I haven't done this in a while. I've pulled the carpet out many times. This car actually used to, uh, I'll have to put a picture in here. This car originally came with tan interior. So tan carpets, tan cloth, front and back seats, um, pretty bad shape. Uh, so I like replaced that carpet. I've dyed it, I've dyed it again, and I flooded and I took it out. So the carpet's been out many times, but I can't remember because this whole carpet has to come out of one of these four doors. So I'm not exactly sure how I did it last time. I don't know if you fold it up and then try to remove it. I guess we'll uh, figure out the hard way. Oh yeah, it's a little wet. Oh. Oh yeah, that is nasty. So, hmm, that's mold. Um, this back here was from the water leak from the sunroof that wasn't really installed. So this side has rainwater, and then that side has coolant. Fold it a bit. Oh, get on out of there. I mean, has to. Ugh. I mean, that smells properly bad. Oh yeah. Looking good, looking good. Okay. Get down up here. Okay. Oh, I know why. I see exactly why. We have these anchors for the seatbelt right there. There's both in the floor and that is what was holding us up. Well, we fix that first. All right, let's try this again. I think most people don't realize what's, so you know, car carpet is not just carpet, it's actually mostly foam. It's like all this molded shaped foam to kind of give you the shape uh, with carpet on it. And so the foam, of course, is kind of what sucks up all the water that's gotten in here and doesn't really dry. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely some coolant in there. What is holding this up here? Come on, people. There we go. There she goes. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna fold it over here. Oh, it's so wet, look at that. Oh, that's that's a lot of coolant. And there's rainwater. But it's kind of balled up now. Oh yeah, not too bad. Lots of random stuff. So you can see all this is foam. You know, there's very few, little, that's actually carpet. It's mostly thick foam. So you can see all that foam is just soaked with coolant. And then that's where the gas pedal passes through. And we can see the rust. Um, where all that water is starting to rust through the gas pedal mount, which is a pretty common spot, rust spot on E30s if they do rust. That's actually pretty funny. You can see a piece that's gone right there. And that piece right here is stuck right there. And it's actually burned. Uh, so it burned and stuck to the car because that's where the exhaust, uh, the passenger side exhaust passes right there. And so I think maybe on a big burnout or something on the exhaust was probably glowing red hot that melted that to it. Not terrible, not the best. Not great, not bad. Um, so I'll clean all this up, this is fine. You know, I do like my uh, sound ending, but uh, yeah, made good progress. We'll start cutting this thing out next, we're good to go. So I began removing the sunroof and I've, I've already screwed it up pretty badly. Well, not the sunroof, but the sunroof cassette. Um, so like this whole piece is spot welded in there in a few places and then it's a lot of steam sealer, so like glue. And I was trying to kind of pry away at it from the inside and I may have uh, added some dents like from the inside. I'll try to get it, we can see it. But yeah, I, I just added that whole row of dents right there, <laughs> trying to pry it out, whoops. But it's coming along pretty good. I got most of the spot welds drilled out up here. Do some prying. A lot of it is just like seam sealer all around the perimeter and then there's probably like 10 or so spot welds. So I do kind of need to get a spot weld tool to cut those out. And then uh, I think I pretty much pry it out and rip it out. So 
I'm going to get to that so we can get a supercharger on this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.